Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Erica Lucas, and this video is a clean with me kitchen version. The mess you see before you is our typical daily mess. The dishwasher has not been empty yet, so that's all clean, which is why dishes pile up because that's just life. It's 1.15 in the afternoon. We've already had breakfast and lunch, and that's the mess that's left after a couple hours in the morning. I always pop on my apron to start when I clean. It just motivates me to clean. Another trick that I have is to turn on my robot vacuum. And another trick that I use is to put something on my iPad. I like to watch other YouTubers, other clean with me's. I might listen to an audiobook or I watch something on Skillshare. Right now I'm halfway through Emily Henderson's Style Your Space class on Skillshare. I wanna thank Skillshare for sponsoring this segment of the video. I'm about to drop the number one tip of life. It is, as long as you have a consistent color palette, you can mix any styles together and it doesn't matter how much of that style you're putting into. Greens, grays, whites, and the warmer colors are reds, orange, yellows. Skillshare is an online learning community, has thousands of classes for creative and curious people. You can explore new skills, develop existing interests, and get lost in the creativity. I'm really enjoying Emily's class on Style Your Space because it's giving me ideas on things I can do in my own house. She also has these quizzes on there that gets you to really deeply understand your style likes, your, your color preferences that you gravitate towards in your own home and things that you like, and gives you ideas on how to shop and the vernacular that you're looking for to match the style that you wanna put into your home. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my description box are gonna get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. And after that, it's only around $10 a month. My husband once asked me if the kids had helped put the silverware away. And I had to say, no, it was me. I am, <laughs> I just toss it in there because it goes in and out of that drawer so frequently that sometimes I line it up if I take the time. Other times I just toss it in the drawer, <laughs> just the way a child would do. If you've been around a while on this channel, you know these dishes. These dishes were unpacked out of the basement in one of my sentimental declutter videos, and I decided to keep these plates. It's a beautiful china set that my mother had gifted to me and we used on Thanksgiving and Christmas growing up. So it got used twice a year for about 30 years before it made its way to me. And now it's our everyday place setting. Bowls, um, plates, and then I also have this kid's drawer here for their stuff that they just can access and get their own cereal or their own sandwiches. But I use these plates, I run them through the dishwasher. They have that gold rim. I know some people were apprehensive about that. They have survived very, very well in the dishwasher. I do not put them in the microwave. I have this really lovely window at the top of the sink here in the kitchen that gets fantastic sunlight for plants. So I have a couple of pothos in there that I've just repotted and I'm trying to make sure they have a really lovely start to life in the window before I find a place for them in the home. I have been curating my kitchen now as a minimalist for a year and a half. I did a massive kitchen declutter in October of 2019 and haven't looked back. I have the right number of bowls and plates I know that because not much is left on the shelves after a meal or after two meals. And I, if I don't do a load of dishes, we definitely do not have dishes for dinner. So the dishwasher usually runs during the day and maybe one more time at night, depending on how many things were used for dinner. I use drops, dish soap. Um, they come in these little pods. I use that in our dishwasher here. I also use them in our laundry room. I use the drops laundry detergent and fabric softener as well. They're just these little pods that I get the lemon lime for the dishwasher and they come in this recyclable compostable box. And I keep that in under the sink with a magnetic lock so the kids cannot get to those pods. We usually stack recycling there on the counter. So I took that out as a way to get ready to tackle the next section. And that's how I do the kitchen every day. I just tackle it one little section at a time. This here is my everyday kitchen routine. I start at one end of the kitchen counter and work my way to the other. We have an island in the middle of the kitchen that, or middle of the, yeah, well, next to the, next to where I'm standing is an island. And 
we try very hard not to keep anything on there. So that's not something I have to clear off on a regular basis. Sometimes we use it right before we went on our RV trip last weekend and ended up getting a bunch of stuff on there that I came home to. But as a minimalist, it's a lot easier to put things away than it was a year and a half ago. We have exactly what we need in the kitchen and it makes for easy cleaning. This whole routine here took me under an hour but I really took my time and went slow, cleared off the counters completely to be able to give them a thorough wipe. I have a uh, DIY cleaner in here. It's something that kids could use if I had them helping me clean. And then I use a microfiber cloth and I just use that to clean everything in the kitchen pretty much and then put it into the laundry. And once I have eight or 10 in the laundry, I'll do a load of them because I have a good supply of them in my kitchen. This is an amber glass bottle. I bought from Amazon and I just fill it with vinegar, water, maybe some essential oil, and just refill it often to be able to clean. That's a compost bin that we have, that we have a, we use to take out to the compost pile in the backyard. So we put our kitchen scraps in there that are, that are safe to put into the compost bin. And then I have some bananas we did not eat on our RV trip last weekend. So I guess I'll either be freezing those or making banana bread soon. Our kitchen usually has dirty dishes because the dishwasher is either full, needs emptying, or running. And so I usually have a couple of dishes that are just ready for the next dishwasher load. I am just cleaning up with a sponge today because I want clear counters. So I'm just making that extra effort in those extra few minutes. It's not a step I normally take. I usually just let them pile up for the next dishwasher load. So I'm just cleaning the pans that are left and then all the dishes as well. Gives me a chance to listen to Emily and you know get through a portion of her class. And I have it here in my window so I can actually just look up and see what she's talking about at any point when she's like talking about her quizzes or showing different styles of like chairs or sofas, then I can actually look. And this, she was talking about her color palettes and you were taking a quiz about the colors that you liked and what different types of furniture that you would put into your home. And then the quiz results help you understand what you might want to shop for in your own home. A year and a half ago, this was not my everyday daily kitchen cleaning routine. I used to have to clear off mounds of clutter, books, games, papers, computers, oh, just anything would gather in the kitchen. And I would have to clear that off even to be able to clean. And I certainly didn't clean every day like I do now. It's It wasn't possible, it was exhausting. Just looking at the clutter was exhausting and emotional and depressing. And now it's usually just the dirty dishes clutter that's in the kitchen or a pile of groceries that need to be put away or some kind of project that the kids are working on. It's something very present time that has an expiration and just needs to be put away. So cleaning the kitchen on a regular basis now is possible. It was absolutely not possible until I started living with less and recognizing the effect that clutter can have in my kitchen. And that may be true for you. If it is, tell me in the comments, you know, how clutter affects you in your kitchen and what habits you do to make sure it doesn't build up for you. Because for me, it used to create a lot of anxiety, a lot of anxiety. I, I, you know, I would lose sleep over this kitchen um, in our, at our old house, just, everything was piled everywhere and i knew what i was walking down to in the mornings to have a cup of coffee and things i would have to move just to brew a pot of coffee and now just living with what we need in the kitchen and using the kitchen functionally without worrying about it building up because everything that goes on there can be easily put away again I keep it very real on my channel. So I'm gonna show you here in just a minute what happens in less than an hour with a clean kitchen. The kids wanted lunch number two. It, I don't, do your kids eat multiple lunches? My kids eat multiple lunches or multiple breakfasts. They wanted pierogies later in the day around three o'clock. So I had made a pot of, per, of pierogies. So the pot is too hot to wash right now. It has to cool down, but I got plates piled up and it's within an hour. It's already on its way to mess again. And that is real minimalist life with kids is, it, you know, it'll stay clean for less than an hour. I got to enjoy the beautiful clear kitchen counters for less than an hour because <laughs> that's life with kids. 